piano. What it do, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Iron Rounds. And we are continuing on our assassin slash hit person tournament. Now, last week we had a voting poll and we just couldn't figure out uh, who won. There was like a tiebreaker between uh, Lorraine and Leon. So to make things interesting on this week's episode, we're going to put a triple threat match, which means that we're going to have three people going against each other this time in this tournament. So uh, we have Jason Bourne from the Bourne franchise films going against Leon from the Leon the professional film going against Lorraine from the Lorraine Bronton from the Atomic Blonde film and as always we're going to have three rounds the first round is range second round is close up and third round is get it done now normally traditionally we have only one winner for each round but this one we're going to just add things up or spice things up a little bit by determining who can actually just go and survive that round in general all right you guys ready let's start off with first round range all right so let's start off with leon now in the film you don't get to see him do a lot of sniper moves and stuff like that but of course there's always the conversation he had training with Tilda on how to shoot someone and he actually got her to nail someone so Leon given enough time and given enough distance he can put you down he can determine how to put you down for the count especially if you guys are exposed so in a range fight against Bourne and Lorraine if he managed to see if they're fighting maybe from a distance he can shoot them both down very easily uh, because he's a lot more skilled in the sniper department compared to the two uh, who have never really shown the experience. And maybe he didn't show the experience, but he did show through the details of training uh, Matilda. So, let's talk about Bourne. Now, Bourne might not have shown his sniper moments. Maybe he's shown that he can get an upper hand and have a sniper on you or a scope on you. But I would have to say that Bourne never got to show his true uh, ability to do that. But there is an argument where he did get an upper advantage against a sniper. So he can get close enough to a range so he could take out the sniper. Sorry, I had to put my jacket up. Uh, what do you call it? <clears throat> so he had to put out the sniper. He had to get the upper hand, so he created diversions, distractions to get close enough so that way he can get the better shot or the clear shot that he needs. So there is an argument to be said that when it comes to range, he can get, he can get to the sniper or he can get to someone and get the close shot he needs in order to get you down. Now, Lorraine, let's talk about Lorraine. Lorraine um, uses the element of darkness and the element of surprise to get a good range shot at you. If you remember she, when she took out David, she was hidden in the shadows and then she shot him. So there is that argument to be said that she had a pretty good shot. Remember the hotel room? She still had a good shot over her boss even though she was turned around. That was an exact marksman skill moment. So you can say Lorraine does have a pretty good precise clean shot moment when she needs it if she has the element of surprise in her favor to go against these two characters. But ultimately who would win? Which of the three would get to move on to the next round? I'm going to give it to Bourne. Um, he can... He, show, he has shown that he can get close enough to get the sniper shot he needs. So it's not about how far you are. It's about how much time he has to get to you. When it comes to Leon, Leon needs preparation time. When it comes to Lorraine, she needs the element of surprise or the element of darkness in her favor in order to, uh, to get that clean shot. But with Bourne, he creates diversions. He can get close enough and he can get a clear shot. So yeah, you could give credit where credit is due when it comes to Bourne. Bourne most likely would make it. And of course, I'm going to also add on Leon the professional because obviously his skills alone from how long he survived to where he's at now shows that he probably most likely would be able to take out one of the two before anything. And I can't say the same about Lorraine. So I'm going to give this round to Leon and Jason Bourne. All right, round two, close up. All right, so let's start off with Leon the professional. Put him in an environment structure like building and he will put you down. Uh, he uses the element of a building to his favor a lot. He uses the ceiling to use an upside down shot or to get someone from surprise from the top. He uses uh, certain bookshelves to, or like book, yeah, I think it's bookshelves hiding left and right in order to get a clean shot out of a, a bunch of people before they can see him coming. He can come out of nowhere from the darkness. He can come from the ceilings and hang you up with a wire. I mean, the guy has shown that when he's in a small environment, he uses it to his favor a lot he knows how to adapt very quickly to get the upper hand against someone 
no matter what. Remember, he got hit with a bazooka and he turned it, he switched into a SWAT gear. The guy improvises tremendously when it comes to uh, certain types of fight style situations. Now, let's talk about Bourne. You can't, Bourne, I mean, there hasn't been a, a movie where he hasn't fought someone almost to the bitter death. I mean, he's always doing hand-to-hand -hand fight movies. It's like his whole bread and butter when it comes to his franchise. But on top of that, he's almost choked out most of the time, like to death. He's almost about to die, and he's almost about this close to be ended, and Bourne finds a way. Not to mention, he uses like, uh, what, like a roll-up newspaper to disarm a person and a pen to, to put as a deadly weapon. I mean, the guy shows that close-up-wise, he will put you down no matter what before you can actually put him down officially. Now let's talk about Lorraine. Lorraine, I mean, she, she had to protect one guy. She was a one-person army. She took out multiple men. I mean, she, and it, there was no breathing room in sight. There wasn't a moment where she can catch her breath for like five minutes or rest. No, she had to get back up and fight more and more and more. You got to remember that scene. She kept going and going. She kept getting the candy beaten out of her, and she kept going. She kept improvising, grabbing weapons out of nowhere. Can Lorraine fight someone hand in hand? Yes, and she can fight the baddest of the baddest hand in hand, obviously, and she can take a beating like nobody. So, yes, you can say in a close up fight, you don't want to have Lorraine coming at you because Lorraine will put you down using a weapon or her own fist to do it. But ultimately, between the three, who would win this round? Um, I'm going to say, I'm going to give this round to Bourne and I'm going to give this round to Lorraine. Reason I give the round to both of them and not to Leon is, let's be clear. Leon is incredible with a weapon. A gun in his hand, he could take you out, no problem. He can use the environment to his favor, but hand to hand, if he loses or he runs out of ammo and he has to fight these two hand to hand or with a blade, they're most likely gonna be able to disarm him compared to Leon. Now maybe Leon may be a professional, but two professional skilled fighters going at you with no gun in your hand, yeah, you're gonna get put down for the count. So ultimately, I do believe Lorraine and Bourne would be able to move on to the next round for this one. Now, round three, get it done. Let's start off with Leon. Le Leon is fast, clever, and sneaky. Those things do come in handy going against people with skills. Because uh, thinking on your feet during a situation against people who probably have an upper advantage, he has shown that he can think on his feet. Him and a gun, you no question about it. And on top of that, he is sneaky enough to get a wire wrapped around your neck from the top of a ceiling. So I do believe he might be able to use the upper ceilings or upper advantage of a, of a complex to, uh, to help him take out somebody if he needs to. But he would only be able to possibly take out one person during that situation. But of course, he still has the sneak attack moves with the blade and the guns again. Him and a gun, without question, he could take a person now. He's pretty quick and pretty fast. And there's only been a sh uh, an instance where he shows he's pretty, uh, like, uh, I mean, bad to the bone when he drags, uh, he punches one officer out with one punch, and then another one he drags out of his desk. And I remember when he took the other two, when he walks into a, to the office to help to save Matilda. So yeah, there are moments where Leon shows quickness and thinking on his feet. Uh, remember when he deals with the SWAT team, he is one of the best to do it. That's why they need a SWAT team to take him out. Now, Lorraine, Lorraine shows, uh, usually I go with Bourne, but let's start with Lorraine. Lorraine is shown to be more tough on situations against a lot of more difficult moments. Remember, she fought, uh, she had to improvise too. She was inside a vehicle. She had to use her high heels to take a guy out and fight somebody inside a car. Uh, she's a skilled driver. She can take a beating like no other. I mean, if you remember, there are scenes where she had to use a key to jam into someone's face. There's this hot plate that she had to hit somebody with. I mean, she just keeps on going and going and going without any stop in sight. She's hard to put down. It wouldn't be easy just to stab her and then call it a day. Clearly, Lorraine, you can't just put a blade into her and simply call it an end. And you can't really just shoot her because she's not going to let you get that shot without putting you down first with a quick draw. Now with Bourne. Born has way more adaptability when it comes to the environment. He's much more precision or a focus, more precise. I think he just has a lot more uh, observation or more attention to detail when it comes to thinking on his feet. Considering when you see him in a in pressured environment, when you see him like dealing with a very difficult environment or in, in a difficult place, he always thinks on his feet how to create diversions or find a way around or clear a different paths, even finds maps to find a way it escapes. He is a very clever man and he always, always finds a way to think on his feet. On top of that, he's also very great, uh, incredibly impressive when it comes to driving. 
So driving wise, uh, Lorraine and Bourne are probably equal, but I would say that Bourne probably has an upper advantage or much more skills in that set, in that sense. So, but we're just trying to figure out ultimately who would win between the three in this fight. Now, I have said before that Leon without a gun, I don't know. He just doesn't seem to have a lot going from when it comes to the fighting moment. Maybe he took out a cop, but he took out a cop with one punch when he didn't see it coming. He took out two other cops when they didn't see it coming by kicking the door and just shooting him out. They didn't know he was coming. So there are a lot of moments to be said where, yeah, Leon is clever and he can think on his feet, but without a weapon, he's done for. And of course, Bourne and Lorraine are also very skillful in marksman skills. So yeah, he might be able to take a bullet in the arm without it phasing him. But he's still not going to be able to put them down officially without them taking a good shot at him first. They might shoot the, his good arm. Who knows? There's just an infinite amount of possibility when it comes to Leon having no advantage here against two very skilled fighters. Um, now between the two. So it ultimately would be led down to Lorraine, left to Lorraine and Bourne. And as much as I want to give Lorraine the possibility that she would win this fight, and yeah, I do believe she would. Against Bourne, there's a good possibility. Hand in hand, just thinking improvisation wise, she could think, she could probably do it. They both have very uh, experienced agency skills, so they're very impressive. But the one thing that I will give Bourne is the one single punch move that he's shown in the movie. There was a scene where he, I think he's fighting a Siberian person. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Um, what do you call it? And, uh, you know, they're fighting each other. Now, there are two situations where he's three fighting, but there's one where he's taking his time and then he officially finish, gets it done. And then there's one where he just gets a, a couple punches here and there. And eventually he just takes one good swing and puts the guy down with one good punch. That one good punch is going to come in handy in a fight against someone who is tough and durable. Now, Lorraine is tough, but remember, uh, and there was a moment when uh, one of her old crime bosses, was trying to get a hold of her and they were getting her getting the goons to go there was that scene in the theater where she gets kicked out of the wall and she falls and she also gets almost choked out by one so there is an argument to be said that a superior fighter could put her out and yeah i do believe that born is probably going to be that more superior fighter if he gets that one good punch out on the rain I do believe that Bourne will take her out officially. If even if he just doesn't put her out co up completely with that one good punch, he can still grab the gun, giving him enough time to do it because she's not going to be able to focus with that one hell of a good punch put down. And then Bourne just takes her out and then just moves on to the next round. But as always, guys, I'm going to leave it up to you guys to decide. Uh, go on my TikTok this week coming up, and I'm going to put a voting poll. If you guys agree with my argument, you guys will vote Bourne to move on to the next round if you guys don't agree with my argument you will argue you will agree to sorry you will vote to other the other two which is lorraine or leon so it will be up to you guys and as always no press fam we really appreciate you guys catch you guys later peace